taken the Vedic scriptures that we have 8,400,000 species in the universe. And out of those 400,000, they are human species. And we have a very broad variety today showing up. So thank you very much for that. So, um, although we have so many different cultural backgrounds, so many different like ways to behave, we all share this common goal that we all want to be happy. And this quest for happiness is what drives us in life. And actually just over here, we had a famous Danish philosopher living a couple of hundred years ago named Søren Kierkegaard. He was a very intelligent man. And he said, I have written down here, a man who as a physical being is always turned toward the outside, thinking that his happiness lies outside of himself, finally turns inward and discovers that the source is within him. So very often in this modern civilization, we look everywhere in search of happiness. Some people look for soft eyes, some people look for careers, some people look for uh, lovers or vacations, so many things. But actually true happiness is within us and it's not without us. And this is very much in correspondence with what is in the Bhagavad Gita, that an intelligent person does not look for happiness in the sources of misery, that which is temporary, that which has a beginning and an end. So instead we try to discover eternal happiness, which is the nature of the soul. So, um, since we all look for happiness, we should actually be genuinely happy. But it's very rarely that we see people today just expressing their heartfelt joy in life, just radiating happiness and satisfaction. But that is actually what we should be. That is what life is all about, being happy all the time, not just sometimes, once in a while. So the purpose of this Ratha Yatra festival is to bring about happiness and understanding for everyone. So it's a very ancient tradition coming from India, dating more than 2,000 years back. And it has recently been brought to the West by the founder Acharya of this Hare Krishna movement, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada who brought it to the West in the 60s, and we try to follow up that tradition. So, the original inner meaning of the Yatra is very beautiful. In his time on this earth, Krishna, he took his birth in a little village called Rindavan, where he enjoyed his pastimes with his beloved friends and the resident living there. When Krishna, he grew up, he took away from Rindavan and became a king. And so one day, after many years, his old friends, they came to see him, his old friends and beloved ones. And they were a little disappointed because they saw he had changed so much. It wasn't like the little mischievous guy that used to play so many tricks with them. So they wanted to bring him back to the old moon and take him back to Rindavan. So that is actually what this Ratagatra festival is about. In this form of Yakana, we try to bring him back to Rindavan. And it's like a meditation for all the devotees, try to meditate on Krishna, try to have this personal understanding of God. So this Ratha Yatra festival is very deep and it has a profound meaning. So I hope everyone will enjoy it very much and we get a chance to see some of this natural, heartfelt happiness and satisfaction. Some will experience it, some will express it, but everyone will get affected. So uh, thank you very much. And as for the program today,